Hello, everybody. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm just a little late here. But we getting it together. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let me just set this up. And then I'm going to be with y'all. How y'all doing today? Hey. So if you all can see and hear me, Put up a purple heart. Put up a purple heart. Yeah, let's get a purple heart up there. Let me know. Hey, y'all. Okay, okay, let me. <laughs> I'm getting too excited now. All right. All right. So let me see where to set this. Come on, baby. Sit up there. Thank you. Hey, all right. All right. Now, let me clean my glasses because I've been outside fumbling around with those plants out there, y'all. Hey, all right. Everybody can see me. Good, good. All right. So let me get to the top of the chat, all right? All right, let's see. Psalms 146, hey baby, how you doing? Hey Precious, I missed you on Sunday, I missed you. So glad you're here, baby, so glad you're here. Hey Kiki, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, would you put on your <laughs> She said, hey, Miss Linda, and soul family. <laughs> cool. I love it. <laughs> Growing what I eat. Hey, you okay? I'll be listening in the bushes. Okay, man. Good, good, good. <laughs> hey, backyard flow. How you doing? Nikki Walker. Hey, Miss Linda. Hey, to everybody in the chat. Hey. All right. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Deborah. Hey, I'm biased. Maybe I enjoyed you so much. <laughs> I'm sorry things went crazy, but you know, you know, things get crazy. It get crazy, right? Yeah. Good. Good to see you, baby. Hey, retired gardener. Hello. Country Hustle. Hey. Christine Jackson, peace and blessings, Miss Linda, and everyone in the chat. Hey, all right, everybody can see me. Game nerd mom. Hey, honey. How you doing? Hello, Miss Gloria. I was over there by you watching you um, plant out your brassicas. <laughs> I saw that, baby. Yeah. Sweet thumbs. Man. You tore up over there on Salon Diva. <laughs> you tore up over there. <laughs> you did real good, man. The thing about it is, is that I'm always coming in late, right? When I come in late, I'm behind. So I try to just listen, but you know. Hey, J3, how you doing, man? Thank you for the roses. Thank you. Hey, Mike. Mike say, Meatless Monday was great made an indoor harvest salad. Sounds great. Yankee sister. Hey, my sister. She says, good evening, my sister. Meatless Monday went well. Not feeling too great tonight. So I'll be in the bushes listening. Everyone take care. I hope you feel better, baby. Speaking of not feeling good. Now, I'm going to share this. <clears throat> It's something personal about me. I'm going to share it, but I'm going to share this with you all at the end of this live. Okay. I'm going to share it, but baby, I hope you feel better. Uh oh, wait a minute. What's going on? Wait a minute, y'all. We... <sighs> okay. Yeah, we, we can't do that, <laughs> but um, I hope you feel better. I really do. Okay, honey. 
Um, hey, Ty. <laughs> hey, Ty. <laughs> How you doing, baby? She said, good evening, Miss Linda, and everyone in chat. Hey, Odom. How you doing? Happy Mac. Hey. All right. So that's everybody so far. Cool. Cool. But anyway, guys, I hope you all did well on your meatless Monday. I did really well. I did not eat any meat. I did not eat any shrimp. I did have some um, uh, jambalaya left over, but I did not eat it until lunch today. And baby, I got it in. I got it all in. Even I also made more of teas from my garden. And I drank a lot of that. So, boom, I did that. Yeah, <laughs> wait a minute. What you said, baby? Let's see. <laughs> um, precious. Oh, Precious speaking to everybody. All right. Yay. Peggy, bro, good evening. I was picking caterpillars off my plants. The neighborhood tree is full. Yeah. It's that time of year, you know. I understand, baby. I get it. LGGG. Hey, honey. How you doing? Good to see you. Um, 70 plus gardener. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, Deborah say, pray, pray you feel better. Yeah, for Yankee sister. Yeah, I did meatless Tuesday. Okay, I made a cabbage and mustard green spicy soup. Now that sound real good. I, I, you know, I've seen people mix cabbage with mustard or collards. I have never eaten uh, where a mixture of cabbage with other greens. Now I mix my greens all the time, but I never mix cabbage. It sounds good. Maybe I have to try that. Because I still have two more cabbages in my yard from the fall. And I have lots of mustards. Um, what else I have? Kale and um, lacinados, thousand head kale. I have that. So maybe I could hook up something just to see how it tastes. Yeah. So everybody else who, uh, who was on on in on meatless monday did you all do good did you slip <laughs> right i put raw cabbage in my salad reminds me of coleslaw yeah yeah a beautiful jungle good evening miss linda and everyone in the chat good evening good evening so let's see something wait a minute okay let's see Okay. Okay, baby. Enjoy yourself. All right. So first I want to say to everyone, I want to thank you all for being here in the chat. Uh, I hope you all are having a great night. And for those that are watching in the bushes, I thank you too. And for those who will watch the replay, I want to thank you as well. I hope I say something that could help you in your garden or just in life in general. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you talking to him. Okay. Now, Miss Linda, if you finna wait, <laughs> that finna, go ahead, girl. <laughs> now, Miss Linda, if you finna make me cry, just let me have it. Now, no, I'm not going to make you cry, baby. I'm not. And matter of fact, what I'm going to share with you is oh, just how wonderful, how wonderful our father is, right? <laughs> he is amazing family. I want to thank him for shining down on me. Uh, yeah, no, you got to smile, baby. You got to smile. You're not going to cry. Okay. Mm -mm. No, no. <laughs> I did good with Meatless Monday and my water. Great, Kiki. Um, LGG says, uh, good job, T-Nog, on Meatless Monday. <laughs> T-Nog, I'm as well. I as, wait, I'm as well. I did well 
Oh, wow. Uh, vegan dumplings. You made vegan dumplings, green beans, and steamed pumpkin. Now, that sounds... I, I Yeah. Vegan dumplings. So what you made it with? You, you made it with the beans? Um, foodie. Hey, baby. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Feta. Feta a foodie. Hey, good evening. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yes. Sounds good, LGG. It does, but you know, yeah. When I look at a lot of vegan recipes, you know, <sighs> They they make a lot of things from like beans or nuts or um, like the plantain flowers or the or the banana flour um, mushrooms. Now I love mushrooms, you know. So it, it's I love it though. I love it. Amen. Amen. Beautiful jungle. That's right, baby. God is amazing family. It's amazing. Anything pasta goes to me. Really? Now, see, I didn't know that. And I do know like there's vegan butter. Um, but what I do find is that vegans, when they eat things like, uh, what is this morning star? I went out and bought some morning star because I wanted to taste it. Right. This is my problem with the products uh, that is presented to vegans as plant-based. Family, there is so many um, ingredients in these, in these products, words that you cannot pronounce. You got to go and, and, and Google it. What does it mean? But first, you got to go to YouTube to the pronouncer so you can know how to pronounce it. it. It's just too much. I would prefer just to get some fresh vegetables. You know, that, that's just me. That's just me. Too much salt, Mike. <laughs> and if you don't have high blood pressure, you will. Messing with that stuff. You will. Black beans burgers are amazing. And do I agree? Yes, my love, Regina. Yes, yes. Made it from starch. I don't know. Um. Yeah, Mike. Is Mike said it was too much salt. Hey, K J K. How you doing? She's he said hell. Now, are you a female or male? See, I don't know. I and I want to say he or she, and I don't want to. I don't want to offend you in no way. Hello, Miss Linda, everyone in the chat. I did good on my water. Good, baby. So, so sometimes if you do mess up and eat some meat, don't let it, you know, strike it out. Just hit hard on that water, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, Backyard Garden said, question, Miss Linda. I have some zucchini coming up. So good, but I see some white lines on the leaf. What to spray for it? So let me just tell you that. Those white lines you see is um, a, a minor. It's, it's a minor. Yeah, it's it's a minor. I think that's how, that's how you say it. Let me see. A leaf minor. Um, when Jada was really young, I mean, like three three years old, some around that area, she looked at it like it was chicken scratch on the leaves, right? Leaf miners. That's what it is, and it's a tiny little bug. So this is what I would tell you is to get that leaf and take it off. Because if you don't, then they all gonna be with this, but it won't do anything really bad to it. Like it won't stop your plants from growing or anything. 
It won't stop your plants from fruiting. Uh, it just look ugly. So take that leaf off. And seriously, I wouldn't spray anything. It is a bug. It is. I would take that leaf off. Big portobello mushrooms on a grill is delicious. My, yeah, on a burger, yes. <laughs> I may lose my signal. The winds are, yeah. Y you know, tomorrow, they say starting tonight here in Louisiana, especially northern and central um, Louisiana, there is tornado watches up too. So I understand it is. It's very windy out there. Oh, I understand, uh, Nikki. Don't worry about that, baby. Yeah. I directed... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where did he go? I done lost it. Okay, Miss Linda, my okra seeds germinated, and now I have small seedlings. How much water from now on and how tall should they be before I transplant them? Thanks. So really, I transplant a lot of my seedlings when they're really small. It, it depends, okay? So if, you, if your plants have its true leaves already, right? It, if it had its true leaves already, you can transplant that plant now. To transplant that plant where it's going to live, wait till a cloudy day and wait till in the evenings, late in the evenings before you transplant because that will help that plant not go through so much plant, um, plant shock. So plant it late in the evenings and Really, it's a great time to do it on a cloudy day, but in the evenings, in the late evening, when the sun has lost her punch, then do it, okay? Yeah, but really, for me now, a lot of people, their plants have to get really, really big. But for me, if my plants have their true leaves, boom, that girl going out there, she getting out that cup. <laughs> You're welcome, baby. Processed food is the most difficult to determine if it's really vegan. Listen, any food, whether it's vegan or not, look at how much sodium is in your food. And look at the ingredients. So you see the word ingredients. So the next three to four words, the next three or four ingredients, that is the most that you that's in that in that product like if it says ingredient and then the next word is beans and then the next word is salt you got a lot of salt in there yeah a lot of salt so the words that's closer to the word ingredients those are the most of whatever is in that in that product. I, I don't I don't know how vegans <clears throat> when they continuously to eat processed foods that says vegan seriously to me now you know I could be wrong but I think you're doing yourself more harm than if you would just eat just go and get you some fresh vegetables and fresh fruits right? That package stuff, when you having people prepare your food for you, yeah, you're going to get that stuff, but you, you're going to get all of their fillers that they're going to put in there. It's in your food. And it's probably something that you don't want. Mainly something that you don't even know what it is. You don't know. If you can't pronounce it, you don't want it. If it's green beans, what should be in your green beans? To me, the most is green beans, green beans. So if you're not growing green beans, the best next thing I would say, go buy you some frozen green beans. If you want, if you don't buy them fresh, 
buy you some frozen green beans because processed foods is really bad. That's just my own opinion. And I know everybody got one, but that's mine. Okay. Yes, LGD, we have tornado warnings. Yeah, here in Louisiana, um, northern Louisiana, central Louisiana, even I have some, but not it's not very high, but I do. Um, parts of Mississippi also. Yeah. So Miss Gloria say, Miss Linda, I did good on water. I walked four miles yesterday. Beautiful, baby. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, Miss Linda in chat, listening and driving. Had to hear about the bugs. Okay, honey, good. We're going to talk about them bugs. You are in zone six. Okay. I heard okra. <laughs> yeah. Benji, baby, how you doing, honey? Good to see you. Good to see you. JK say, I'm a mother of five. Reti okay. Okay. You see, if you look at your name, you know, just JK Garden, no one would know if you are male or female. So I'm going to remember, I'm going to try to remember that you are a grandmama, just like me. Just like me. <laughs> yeah. LGG say, I plant a few trees today to catch the incoming rain. There you go. Miss Linda, did you see the eclipse? <laughs> yeah, I was in a totally, you were. It was so big. Yeah, well, I tell you, I did a video and I'm going to post that video probably tomorrow where I made molasses from my sugar cane, y'all. It's all ready. And, um, and uh, I did it. But we were, uh, Ben and I was out in the garden cutting up sugar cane while the eclipse was going on because they say we was going to see like about 83% of it, but it was a cloudy day for us. So, but you know, it wasn't a big deal to me. It's just that people made it like, you know, Jesus is coming back again and, you know, Tuesday will not be here. <laughs> it was crazy. But I thank God we are all here and we are all well. <laughs> hey, um, quails, bees in garden. Hey, hello, T Noggin Chat. Hey, how you doing? Bella, hey, everyone. How you doing? T, TLC, how you doing, honey? Good to see you. Get some greens you grow, you grown or out the store. There you go. And I agree. Wow. We saw overcast. Yeah, it was overcast here in New Orleans. Oh, uh, you know, it's overcast today too, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's all I saw. Didn't even dim here. I didn't play with squirrels. Oh, you played with squirrels. It was nice. There you go, man. Play with your squirrels. <laughs> You put up a video about it too. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. So let's talk about, I'm going to start this thing off and I would like for you all to share with me some bugs that you all see. Okay. So let me talk about this. There are some insects that have relationships. If you see one, you see the other, right? So many of us know the ant and the aphid. They have a relationship and this is what they do. If you ever look at your plants and you see a trail of ants going up your plants, you have aphids. And you may wonder, what are those ants doing? So that is the, the ant and the aphids have this relationship where the ants love the droppings. Yeah, I, I would say that word, but that's a bad word. I ain't going to say it. <laughs> Their waste. The ants love the waste of the aphid. Now, it is called honeydew. 
Yo, it's called honeydew. The waste of the aphid. The ants love that shit. They love it. <laughs> they love it. So what they do, they protect the aphids. Ants protect. Uh, yes, Mike. <laughs> the ants protect the aphid because they are in this, this relationship. So <laughs> the ants protect the aphids from any other insect. And so they enjoy their waste. Aphids are the worst. <laughs> they are. Hey, Nikki. Hey, OC Dish Chick. How you doing, baby? So ants, so anytime you see ants going up your plants, aphids is there, right? The other thing about aphids of course if you see a ladybug ants i mean aphids are present all right they are there joan miss linder and everyone else in the chat i'm just getting up in here miss linder our youtube channel is under james and jones thomas wait a minute baby you lost me wait a minute Miss Linda and everyone else in this chat, I'm just getting up in here. Miss Linda, our YouTube channel is under James and Joan Thomas. Okay, thank you. All right. <laughs> so now, for every, every, usually, usually, every bad insect, for every bad insect, there is a good insect. For every bad insect, there is an insect that will eat that bad insect. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, who's that? Bambit, how you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Stacy, how you doing? Hands in the dirt. How y'all doing? All right. So let's talk about a couple of beneficials beneficials so you all name some beneficial insects just name one so everybody else can can get one in give me um james and joan let's see what are you saying last week you said you was trying to find our channel yes i was okay thank you baby thank you i did and i tried and i couldn't but I'm going to look for it again. Okay, baby? Thank you. All right. Hit the like button, family. Thank you, honey. Um, hey, Renee Hall. Hey, baby. How are you? Ladybugs. Yes, uh, TLC. Ladybug. Bees. Yet yeah, praying mathis. So let me talk about praying mathis, mathis for a time and why praying mathis is so beneficial in our garden. Do you all know why praying mantis, mantis are good for our garden? They are a beneficial butterflies. Yeah, yeah. Nematodes, good nematodes, because they got some bad nematodes out here too now, okay? So they have two, the good ones and the bad ones. Usually the people in the South um, where there's heat and humidity, we will find those bad nematodes. And I've had them before. So yeah, yeah, ladybugs, yeah, butterflies. Okay, praying mantis, let's talk about them. So what they do, they eat bad bugs. That's what they do. We have a lot of praying mantis, okay? The female kills the male. Yeah, and she's a big, she's she's so much bigger than the uh the male. But she listen now, she just don't go up and be killing him. She wait till he's done. <laughs> she, she she let him go ahead and do his thing now, you know. <laughs> Take care of her real good. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> but anyway. 
she do she do okay and then she take him on out that's how that's how meal is she gonna feed them babies with <laughs> oh lord <laughs> it's true it's true she do y'all you know you know she got a timing going on she just don't be running up on him and, and eat him okay <laughs> Go and get them good benefits. <laughs> oh, y'all tripping. <laughs> I encourage the wasp to kill uh, corn bugs and slugs. Really? Okay. So let's talk about the slugs. <laughs> we got to get off there praying, man. This thing. <laughs> Protein. Eh? Hey, that's right, man. That's right. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait one second. You encourage wasps, wasps in your garden, right? Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen print. Yeah. And, you know, I know a lot of people go out and buy praying mantis, you know, so they could be in their garden so they can eat the bad bugs, right? Protein, ladybugs, yes. Netflix and each <laughs> yes, Stacy, yes, right. So wasps, they also eat bad bugs, right? It is so cool when you have like a ladybug or a wasp in your garden instead of us spraying something, even spraying like oils that we make because we don't want any, you know, chemicals or anything on in our garden. Because remember, whatever you spray in your garden, y'all know, whatever you put in that garden, you're putting it in your belly, baby. You're putting it in your belly, okay? So the best thing to try to do is to have that other um, bug that eats the bad bug. So you don't have to spray. Aphids, if you have aphids, the first thing I would say to do is to wipe them off and spray your plants with water. Like three days, really. Spray her good. Raise up the leaves and spray it good. Spray it good. The ants going to get tired of trying to fight fight it. And the aphids, they're going to get tired. And, and if they fall, they, you know, they done. So just spray water first. That's your first, first combat. But what you want to do, if you find that you have aphids, do not ignore them. Do not, because 92 will transform into another 92, and then another 92, and another 92. And what you're going to have? You're going to have a mess, a big mess. So take care of it as soon as you spot it. Hey, Harvey, baby, how you doing? She said, good evening, Miss Leonard and Garden family. Just getting in from the guy. Oh, yeah, baby. Cool. Cool. Um, are they the same as walking sticks? No. Praying mantis are not walking sticks. So walking sticks is a spider, if I'm not mistaken. Hummingbird. Hummingbirds eat bugs. Yeah. Um, growing out the box says that the hummingbirds are the guardians of the garden. That's what he said. Spiders are creepy, but do good work in the garden. And yes, they do. They really do. Now, I don't mind a spider being in my garden. But baby, when they get big, like that big, they got to go. I'm sorry. Now, sometimes I take them and wound them up on a stick and just go bring them somewhere else, put them in a tree away from me. But one thing is for sure, they got to get up out of my garden. I, I can't have them. The praying mantis and bees, 
just like the male <laughs> for what they can get from them. <laughs> then they cut them off. <laughs> Ooh, it sounds like some brothers, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and Miss Gloria say, Miss, do garlic water help on vegetables? It all depends on what you're trying to get rid of, right? What are you trying to get rid of, Miss Gloria? <laughs> Go ahead, J3. <laughs> oh, you said that like it was a bad thing, <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> oh, Lord. Green lace wings ear mites. Yes. So let me give you all a list of good insects. Good. They good. Supposedly. They good. All right. Well, this is the bad ones. This is a list of the bad ones. Bad insects in our garden. And this is one that I really don't like. I really don't like this bug. I really don't. And that is a Japanese beetle. Yo, I cannot stand a Japanese beetle. Somebody help me. Hey, Barb Brownlee. Hello, Miss Lennon, everyone. Strike that beautiful pose. <clears throat> Yay. <laughs> so wait a minute. You, you just made me thought of something. Wait a minute. Let me get this. Oh, let me get this phone here. Wait a minute. So, you know, family, with everything that is positive and good, someone, someone is going to find something that's negative to say, right? Now, <clears throat> I don't, I don't deal with the negativity. I just don't, um, you know, I, I, I live life, child, go play with, whatever but you know i i just try so let me just share this i mean oh let me see oh it's not in this one so someone talked about my haircut of course now i want to share this with you all let me know if you all can see this pretty good do y'all see that this is the year 2000 2000 and just in case y'all don't know who that is, that me. <laughs> I was singing in a church. That's me. Y'all see that haircut? 2000. That, that, that's when 24 years ago. See that? All right. Oh, Lord. This is three years ago. I was trying on some, uh, some eyelashes. My sister bought me. You see that? You see that haircut? All right, I'm gonna give you one, one more. This is 2001. I was singing in a church. Y'all see that haircut? See, this is for the negative people that's, you know, they just, they don't have nothing else to do. This is 2007. I'm sitting in the airport in London, England. That's me. You see that haircut? But anyway, so I hope and pray that they go and they look at what I just put up there and they will see that this haircut is nothing new to me. Not at all. Not at all. Okay, let's get back to our conversation. But anyway, let me see. Oh, I had a woodpecker in my tree two weeks ago. He was wonderful. I enjoyed Jody have red birds, blue birds, and woodpeckers, and she's loving it. She's loving it. That is beautiful. Okay. This is great therapy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Do earwings, earwigs do anything other than look creepy? 
No, they. I'm gonna tell you about them in a minute. Um, hey, oh, you speaking? Wellness. Hello, how you doing? Yes, yeah, yeah. I love your hair. Yeah, well, you know, baby. Somebody can always say, yeah, "You trying to? You trying to look like child?" <laughs> okay. Deidre, hey, hey, Miss Linda and Chad, I hate the Japanese beetle. Yes, the June beetle too. They both got to go. I love your haircut. Haters, thank you, Harvey. They will hate. They will hate no matter what. Their life is miserable. And as I said, they have been lied to so much. Stop. Give God a chance to bless you, baby. Okay. Imagine having uh, so few worries you care about somebody else's haircut. Say that, Mike. Really? Really? Do garlic water? Okay, we read that one. Yeah, baby, we're going to talk about Hey, analytic. Hey, Linda and Chad, listening from the bushes. Okay. Haters going to hate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Okay. Let's get back to Japanese beetles. Now, what I have found, I have not found a predator for Japanese beetle. I have not found a nut except maybe a bird, a big bird. But other than that, I have not found another insect that eats a Japanese beetle. Miss Linda, looking young and tender. <laughs> Sound like Nikki. Yes, indeed. Like Nikki said, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, your hair always looks good. Make uh, Makeup on point always. So some people just don't know how to sit down. Thank you, baby. Thank you. It's just, oh, it's just unbelievable. 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 We got a lot of rain. And before the sun was out, the birds was chirping like crazy. The bugs are about to explode. Oh, baby, they are waking up. They are awake. And listen, not only are they waking up, they're hungry. They're hungry. And this is the thing we should know. Many of the foods that we grow, many of the flowers that we grow, our fruit trees that we grow, is many bad insects' main food. This is their food. So are they coming? They coming. They coming. Made it home safely. All right, pretty girl. All right. Uh, LG to say, Miss Linda, I was a blind with blue eyes and a sweet tan 20 years ago. Okay, I don't care what people say. I love my baby. I love me, baby. That's right. I love all of your looks, Miss Linda. And that's all that matters. And do I agree? I agree because, you know, this is, this is what I do. This is who I am, you know. But, you know, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. My squirrels occasionally grab one. Really? But not enough. Yeah, those beetles ate a billion holes in this. Oh, wow. I cannot stand um, um, oh, Japanese beetles. They are, they are the worst. And the worst for me is when they get on my sunflowers. I cannot stand it. Yeah. Let's see. Nikki says selfie. Yeah. You are beautiful inside and out, Miss Linda. Thank you, baby. I appreciate it. Okay, so the bad bugs, Japanese beetles, aphids, and we all know about them, right? Flea beetles. Now you will find some um flea beetles on your eggplants. That's the beetle you will find mostly on your eggplants. Uh, cabbage worms, we all know about the little white butterfly. But listen, 
is not just the little white butterfly that put these worms on our our uh, our brassicas. There is a dark brown butterfly. They do the same, and sometimes many people pass them. Don't even you know look at them twice. But they putting eggs on our uh, brassicas also. These are dark brown moth. We all know about the little white moth, but there's a dark brown one does the same thing. Okay. Um, educated natural say you are so beautiful, Miss Linda. Now tell us who called you old. <laughs> Oh my God. It talked about your hair. Oh, some Gen Xers. <laughs> Can't handle it. I know. Baby, listen, is this is when people are not talking about you and they're not making a lot of noise about you, they have nothing else to do, right? I'm just going to continuously to be me. Um, and if you look at videos, I got what? over 2,000 videos here on YouTube. I always, I'm looking different. My hair is different. And I got on a hat. I got on a scarf. Why can't I just be me? You know, but anyway, I, I'm praying for him anyway, no matter what. I'm going to pray for him anyway, but I'm going to pray that God keep him away from me. There, you know, that's my whole thing. Crickets ate holes in my kale. Yes. Yes. I thank you, my love. I thank you, baby. I really do. I thank you. Because no matter what you do in this life, no matter what you do, if I would come on here and look crazy, you know, people will talk about me. If I come over here, come on here and I try to get myself to look presentable, not for anybody else, for me. And I'm still talked about, you know? So I'm going to just do me. I'm going to just do me. That's all. Roll up your sleeve, educated. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, Tony, how you doing? Yeah. 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 Red Lady says, good evening, Miss Lynn and everyone in the chat. Blessings to you all. I'm just coming in from the garden and I did pass Meatless Monday and I drank all my water. Awesome, baby. I hate them to be knocking them off my plate. I know. I, I Listen. Yeah. All right. Slugs and snails. So let me just say about slugs and snails. One of the ways that you will find more slugs and snails in your garden, if you have moisture, a lot of uh, the area is moist. It's too, it's too, it's too wet there. It's too wet. So if you get something to dry that area off more, the slugs and the snails wouldn't be there. So try not to have a overly wet area. Hey, Steffi. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Miss Linda, they're jealous. I, child, I'm just me. I'm just me. I hate them to be knocking um, them off my, yes. Yeah. My bok choy always got hit by flea beetles. So the only thing I could tell you about brassicas, bok choy, um, um, uh, thousand head kale, any of these leafy vegetables that we eat is to grow your onions, garlic, and leeks. Put them around it. It will help. <clears throat> now, I have said this, and I want you all to know this. Nothing organically, nothing organically will stop bad insects from getting to our plants entirely. It will not. But with those onion, garlics, and leeks, let me tell you, you will not, it will not destroy your plants. You will have something there to eat. 
If you pay attention to your garden, that's why you must walk around your garden every day. You must raise up those leaves, baby. Raise them up. Get in the middle of it. Get Open all that up so you can see. Because in the middle and in between the grooves is where these insects will hide. They will hide there. So get deep in there. Slugs and snails, they are disgusting. Yes, yes. Okay, cucumber beetles. So if you're growing cucumbers, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a video, and I have, it's, I've already done part of it, is just to show you what these bugs look like. So you will know what they look like. I've done a video before, maybe I go back and put it in my own, um, description box. I mean, in the, my uh, community uh, page, so you all can look at it. And so you can know what these bugs look like, right? So you have spider mites, squash bugs. Squash bugs is totally different from the squash boar. Totally different. A squash bug looks like a big bug with armor on. His color is a tan. He's tan. And he looks like he looks like he have armor on. Right? Hey, Sammy Joe. Hey, Kim. Let's see. How you doing, baby? Good to see you. All right. Leaf miners. So that is the ones that you will find in the leaves of your plants. And it looks like chicken scratch because the leaf miners are so small. They are tiny little bugs and they get in between in your leaves. And what they do is they eat the green out the leaves and what you have on your leaves looks like chicken scratch. It's a bug. So one way to get rid of it is take that leaf off. And if you don't take that leaf off, your entire plant will look like that. But it will not stop your plants from growing your food. You still will get your food. Okay? I have tiny ladybugs, but I don't see any more aphids, but I will keep looking. So if you don't see any um, aphid, I mean uh, ladybugs, and you have aphids, get rid of the aphids. Spray them. Spray them, baby. Spray them. <laughs> Spray them. Yeah. Mealy bugs. Now, I've seen mealy bugs on my trees. Matter of fact, I, I had mealy bugs on my bay leaf tree. And what it looks like, it looks like um, some cotton. It looked like cotton on, it looks, you know, just a little circle of cotton. That's mealybugs. So what get rid of mealybugs? So the first thing you can do is, if you don't have a lot, you can get something and wipe it off and wipe, just wipe them off, right? If you, if you have too much, then you're going to have to spray some type of oil. You may try to spray just water first instead of using an oil, but it looks like cotton, but it's white. You you don't know where the mouth is. You, listen, it's just look like a piece of cotton up there. But it's a bug. Okay. Um, caterpillars. <laughs> we was just talking about caterpillars. So there's some caterpillars that I do like, but I put them where I want them to be. They can't stay where they want to be. Like. I have some um, caterpillars, which is swallowtail butterflies. You will find them on uh, your parsley. You will find them on um, um, carrots. Yeah. I take them and I put them where I want them to go. I just put them somewhere on some kind of plant like a flower plant or something because I don't want her eating up my parsley. And then, you know, not, she also will be on dill because I had a, 
whole bunch of them want some dill, right? Um, so what you want to do is move them if you don't want them to eat up your plant because they'll eat it up. But before you know it, she turns into this big, beautiful swallowtail butterfly. It's another one, caterpillar. You will find it on your citrus, your citrus. And what it looks like, it looks like bird poop. I do have a video up about that. It looks like bird poop. It's a bird poop caterpillar. You will see her on your lemon trees, your orange trees, any citrus you have, you will find the, uh, the bird poop caterpillar. That's what she looked like. She looked like bird poop. And many people just pass it on by because, you know, it's bird poop, right? That caterpillar will also turn into this big, beautiful butterfly. But you got to be selective of where you want her to eat, right? Passionate and Tree say, I'm late. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hey, baby, how are you? Two years ago, I had scales. Mm-hmm. On my lemon, wait a minute. On my lemon tree, I had to use Q-tips and alcohol to wipe them out. Now, see, that is a great way to do it if you don't have many. If it's, you know, maybe one branch, you know, you may have two or three or so on. If you, you know, if you don't have many, but that's a that's a good way to do it. That's a really good way to do it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hey, Gwendolyn Williams. Oh, man, this gardening thing, <laughs> wait a minute, this gardening thing is turning out to be a, to be hard. It's not hard, baby. It, it really isn't. What's, what do you find hard about gardening? What do you find hard? Gardening is hard work, but it's worth it. And I guess the thing about it is, is this, is when you're in your garden, pay attention to what's going on in your garden. As soon as you see something that you don't recognize, that you don't understand, baby, start Googling it. Start Googling it so you can find out what it is. And that's the great thing about the world we live in today, right? You got everything you need right in the palm of your hand, right? Yeah, okay. So another one is a green lace wings. Um, they are really cool to have in your garden, but others will eat others, right? All of these insects, family, they are waking up. And they are going to be invading our garden simply because... Our garden, all the things that we grow, food, flowers, fruit trees, that is their food. That is their food. And they coming for it. They coming. Get ready. Once you have the knowledge of gardening becomes easy. Yes, it's very easy. Uh, just every time you see something that you don't know, just Google it, baby. Try to find out what it is, right? Just do that. Okay. The other one is one of the things I know many of us have experienced, and I don't like it just as much as the next person, is tomato hornworms. So have you all experienced the tomato hornworms? Hey, Kim, I smashed, I smashed that like a button. <laughs> I don't know what is worse, fighting the bugs or these fat groundhogs here. Oh, my God. You have groundhogs. So what I see people do with groundhogs or voles or these animals that live in the soil is get chicken wire and lay it down under your beds. Yeah. I have to go uh, have a good evening. You too, baby. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Yeah. Good night. Yeah, precious. 
hornworms can really eat. Maybe one day you have a beautiful tomato plant out there. Next day, you have nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> hey, girl out the box. I was talking about you. Good evening, Miss Linda. Just getting in from the garden. Oh, everybody is saying the same thing. I'm just getting in from the garden. I understand. So listen, family. Um, before we go, I mean, there's another one I want to talk about too. We talked about spiders and white flies. And they all could be a pain in the butt, right? So guava, y'all. And I didn't know, as Sunday, we was here almost two hours. Y'all. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, family. So let me say this. Do you all have any questions about relationships with insects or do you want to know anything about an insect maybe i can help you or someone in the chat i had to use chicken wire okay on top on the top to stop the squirrel <laughs> that's my buddy now come on now that's my buddy <laughs> wait a minute to stop the squirrels from digging up my bulbs yeah when i planted tulips yeah they will dig it up in a heartbeat mm -hmm. it was 70 degrees in the garden today god uh good god it was amazing yes good evening cheryl how you doing baby good to see you i had picks uh i have picked so many hornworms all for my tomato plants my chickens were tired of eating them. Oh my God. Yeah. I had a great time in the garden yesterday, but didn't make it out there today at all. It could happen sometimes like that, honey. Hornworms are the worst. Yes, Harvey. And I, I'm with you. <laughs> it's only my second year gardening and I'm finding out about all these bugs. Well, listen, baby, just take your time. Just take your time, right? And just deal with what you see in your garden, okay? Just, mm -mm, just deal with what's in your garden, okay? Hey, Courtney, how you doing, baby? I have a squirrel digging up seeds. Just need a little more size on him. <laughs> He's going to be dinner, baby. Yes. <laughs> Somebody's sure, wait a minute, somebody's sure um, warn the mail praying matters. Listen, I don't care if they warn him. He going by that, he going by that female. He know, he know he may get eaten, but he going. <laughs> Baby, that's all right. You, 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 you you, you can do what you're going to do, but I'm going to do what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, Lord, don't stop me. There you go, Mike. There you go. He said, that's all right. I'm going down. That's all right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's crazy. It's true. All right. So anybody have any questions about the insects? Now, who, who was that I was talking about? She said, this is her second or first year of gardening. Who, who was that? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. F-A-D-I, Feda, Feta. Well, baby, email me, honey. Let's talk, okay? Because I want to help you. I don't want you to get discouraged, okay? I don't. I don't. Um, uh, what? I'm praying my plants don't need a boat tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, we yes. Red lady, I am too. They're going to be all right, though. They're going to be all right. Yeah. All right. Okay, y'all. So, let me tell you all about what has, what would happen to me. 
Oh, wait a minute. Javora. Oh, Davora. Good evening, Miss Linda and Chat. I was outside trying to cover my baby seedlings. Yeah. <laughs> outside, the storm is coming in my area in Opelousas. Yes, it is, my love. I'm definitely rewatch. Much love. You too. You too, baby. Thank you for being here. I love Opelousas. I do. I do. Hey, D. Hello, everyone. Miss Linda, no internet signal. Oh, it's spotty. Oh, okay, baby. Our sister, now aren't you the late one? I love you though. I love you hard, baby. <laughs> um, sweet thumb, say hello, everybody. I was in and out the garden tonight, so I missed the chat. That's okay, baby. Thank you for being here. Okay, hang in there. Yes, it will get better. Yes, Nikki, that is wonderful. It is, it will get better. Just a potting my inside tomatoes this past Sunday. We'll up pot my peppers this weekend. Good, good. Kim, Miss Linda, I planted a lot of seeds before and after all the rain while listening to multiple lives today. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. I did too. I was watching a lot of lives also. I was over there by Unbiased and then I went to Salon Diva. Yeah. Yeah. You all have an amazing evening. You too. Did you mention the lizard? No, veggie. I know you have though. Yes, I do. I have a lot of lizards. So let me just say this about the garden lizard. lizard. Thank you, veggie baby. The garden lizard is cool. They eat not only bad bugs, they eat good bugs. I have a video where I recorded a garden lizard. She got that monarch butterfly in her mouth. And now, as much as I want the monarch butterfly, I will not stop nature. Mm -mm. She got caught. The, the lizard is going to eat. I'm not going to stop it. But yeah, but this is what I also found out about the lizard. The lizard, they eat all those bad bugs. They eat good bugs too, but they eat bugs. But this is another thing about the lizard. When my figs are ripe and soft and gooey on the tree, guess who will eat them? The lizards. The lizards will eat your fruits. Lizards was eating gnats flying around. Yes, they will snatch them out the air. But beware, they will eat your fruits. So when your fruits are nice and ripe, go get them if you have garden lizards. And Harvey, I know you got lizards too because we don't live far. They're good for eating the bad bugs, but they will eat your fruit. I'm telling you, I saw him. I saw him. Good evening, T Noggin family. Wait a minute. Jeannie. Hey, Jeannie. Let me get you, baby. Now I went too far up. Thank you, Veggie Baby. Um, Glamour Planner. I just moved the end of last year. It will be interesting to see what insects are in my garden. Yes, I know nets are here. And squirrels were stealing my plants too, girl. Yes. Oh, you doze out? Okay, baby. That's okay. I understand. <laughs> um, that Mathis man finna get him some sugar. Yeah, he gonna get it. He gonna get it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, okay. Lizard, okay, right, right, Harvey. I hate them. Yeah, oh no, yeah, they they will eat your fruits. Yeah, good evening, T Noggin family. I have a garden and flowers and fruit trees. And when I receive my bees on the 8th, and I will start a channel B uh, Unstoppable. Okay, cool. I love it. I love it. I'm getting gnats now. Uh, for for my figs. Okay. 
nets. Oh, you're going to put it on. Okay. Okay. Oh no, not the lizards eating your fruits, your figs. Yes. I seen them. Mm -hmm. Seen a lot of lizards after this rain and frogs don't say frogs. <laughs> we'll be here right along with the slugs and snails. That's right. Because they love wet surfaces. Um, I caught a lizard on my figs. Yes, he will be pocket <laughs> oh, protector. Yeah, Stacy, put up um, wind down Wednesday, Stacy, and Nikki. If you know um, um, Yankee sister date for her her live tomorrow morning, would you put that up for me, Jody? Sincere, I thought you was. Sleeping, baby. My daughter had me out all day today, y'all. My lizards are so big. He's great, great grandfather. <laughs> He's been eating a lot of stuff over there. That's what it is. Hey, Duval. Lizards will definitely eat your figs and chew it. Say that, Nikki. And yes, they will. I saw them. I saw them. Mm -hmm. I was praising them for years. Go ahead, lizards, do your thing. And one day I blamed the birds from eating a couple of my, my figs, but I was out there one day just looking and there was that lizard and he was, I'm telling you, he was enjoying that LSU gold. <sighs> Y'all watch him. They real. Mm -hmm. Will the lizards travel <laughs> to New York for so long? <laughs> if you don't have lizards in your yard now, you know, in the spring and the summer, then you won't have them. But here in the South, we have garden lizards. They're all over. In the fall, they, um, what do you call that? Hibernate. They hibernate in the fall. In the winter, they hibernate, but they are waking up now. They are they are waking up. Mm -hmm. They're waking up right now, baby. Oh, thank you, daughter. Thank you, daughter. Mama love you. So let me get um my dates. I have so many lizards. Yeah, D, I do too. I do too. Let me get um my wind down Wednesday and um Yankee sister. Hey, Georgia, how you doing, baby? Uh, and Yankee Sisters date for her uh, her live in the morning. Sheila, hello, Miss Linda and chat. Just coming in from outside, trying to get things started. Happy to be, oh, baby, I'm so happy to have you here. Great name, Be Unstoppable. Uh, oh, yeah. The Glamour Planner. Oh, you speak it. Okay, baby. All right. I'm looking for my... Hey, sifted some saw. Hey, baby. How are you? Okay. Jeannie, I haven't seen any lizards, but uh, these cute little rabbits is eating... Oh, rabbits? Yeah, baby. Sheila. Hey, t -Nog. I'm using screen netting on my fruit trees this year. I am trying to protect them from birds, squirrels, and lizards. So my fruit trees, especially like my figs, I have five fig trees on one side of my garden. I have three fig trees on another side of my garden. And I have two more fig trees. But the thing about it is my fig trees are so big. So netting will not help me. And now I have put like on my LSU gold because all of them really is my favorite. But when like the LSU was really getting ripe and I want those, then I put some tool around just just the fruit, not the tree, just the fruit. OK, this is uh, Stacy. Hands in the dirt says, come join me, Nikki OCD is chick and bougie prepper for Wine Down Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come with a joyful spirit. 
Yes. Come with time like you want to relax and enjoy yourself. You want to laugh. You're going to learn, but we're going to laugh. Okay. So let's go and meet Stacy Bougie and OCD's chick. And I will be there because I do love it very much. I enjoy myself. It's in the middle part of the week. And, you know, I just chill out. I usually get me a bottle of something. Usually it's a, a black girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I really enjoy myself. So I hope you all join me on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Hands in the Dirt. Let's go check them out. And let's kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Yeah. I got to put the rest of that, but mm -hmm. <laughs> make a purse. Oh, come on, Mike, with the lizards. <laughs> oh, wow, man. <clears throat> Odom says, I always cover my figs with tulle. I just can't do it. Well, for one thing, my trees are just too big. And I have too many of them in different places, and I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, yeah. If I don't catch them, they got away with it. But if I catch them, pray, because <laughs> you're going. <laughs> Lizards are everywhere. Yeah, they all over the place. So, yeah. Wellness with Frugal Mom says, we had lizards without a garden. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Get ready, baby. Get ready. Jody say, baby, last summer, the lizards ran me on top of my husband car. <laughs> hey, you know, for life, Jody is so afraid of insects, y'all. So did Nikki put up... um? So Nikki or um, Nikki Walker or Nikki OCD's chick, can someone put up Yankee Sister? And I think it's a, a I, don't, I don't forgot what she call it, but it's at nine. Um, it's at nine a.m. I don't know if it's Eastern Standard Time. I don't know, but I do know she have a live. Uh, LGG said, I may have to get a vacation home <laughs> in zone nine <laughs> just to enjoy those goodies. Lizard snake. Oh, please don't even say them. Wild plants and trees. Light, sharp winters. Yeah. Look, zone nine got it going on. And yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Lizards have gotten bold too. They don't even run. No, they don't. They don't. I have to put those. I have to put that hose on. Yes. Yeah. And put it on him good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're welcome, man. You are so welcome, Stacy. I appreciate it. I, listen, I truly, truly enjoy myself uh, on your channel. I do. Always awesome. Angela says, mm, I had a snake stark in me last year. I then had to get my friend to save him from drowning in my rain barrel <laughs> while I was using it. Oh, never thought I would save a snake. Mm. He'll turn around and bite you and you wonder why. I say, hey, I just saved your life. And you know what he say? You know I'm a snake. Watch it. I'm not saving none of them. I, I'm not lying now, y'all. I'm not saving the snake. God bless him. I know that's right. Give your heart to God, baby, because everything else <laughs> is going to be in the shovel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I don't have many problems with lizards or squirrels, but them flies thrive. Okay. Oh, there you go, baby. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, honey. Uh, Yankee Sister Morning Devotion, right, at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
and that's on Yankee Sister Homestead's channel. Okay. All right, family. So let me tell you all this. Okay, Jody, what you say? And let me mention the time when a lizard, lizard wars in my house. Oh, yeah. And I called my mama <laughs> and I was standing on the sofa until she killed it. <laughs> she did. Jody lived right around the corner from me and I had to go and save my daughter from the lizard. <laughs> but I'll go again, baby. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, 814 Psalms put it up about Yankee. Oh, she did? Okay, baby. Thank you. Oh, there it is too. Hey, thank you, Bob Brownlee, my baby. And Nikki, um, <clears throat> thank you. Yankee Sister and Francesca Live is at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And thank you, um, uh, Psalms 146. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Thank you. So, so let me just say this before we leave, <clears throat> because I'm about to leave, okay? But let me say this to you all that is here. I have been predominantly a healthy woman most of my life. I have. I've had one surgery in my life, and that was a torn meniscus. And that was in 2016. Other than that, I never had a surgery. But being sick or being ill, something like that, it, it, it just, I've never been. Because all of my life, it, it's just a, a habit. Uh, my mother and my grandmother, it start, I guess it started with my grandmother of the garden, but my mother also loved vegetables. That was her thing. Oh, listen, she didn't need meat. You know, she really didn't. She was a fanatic about vegetables, but her vegetables, she loved raw live vegetables. Okay. So let me just say this, is that back in October, I told you all, I shared with you all that I was in an accident. And um, I put up a little video, a short, about me being in physical therapy. But I have not been 100 since then, right? I haven't. I have been family, but I'm not, I don't complain about things. I don't. I believe in taking your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. I, I believe in that. I believe in when I have a problem, I turn it over to God and then it, that's not my problem anymore. I believe in that. And I've been believing in that all of my life, right? So I have been going to the doctor and it looked like surgery was in my future, right? Well, family, today, I went to the doctor today. <laughs> oh, Lord. My little, if my little sister is still here, my daughter is here, they were with me. Both of them was with me. And I did a series of tests and y'all know, man, they, 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 they go in every place they could, <laughs> you know. Surgery is not. Blood work is great. I had a biopsy and no, <laughs> no. <laughs> so am I grateful? I'm truly grateful. God is amazing and I thank him. Is when you have a problem, 
and you turn it over to him because I don't care how healthy you are. We all can get sick. All of us can get sick. I don't care how healthy you are. And I would say I am one of the most healthiest people that I know. That hummingbird you talked about. Oh, going out the box and think about you so much every time I see it. I thank you, man. I thank you. Let me say this. Many times, many of us only know the wonders of God because of our mother's problems that they had. Or we're living off of their testimony because of what they went through. Or our grandmothers of what they went through. Of our aunts, what they went through. But family, when I tell you when you going through it, it's you. <laughs> You know, that's the old song say, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, <laughs> standing in the need of prayer. It's me now, you know, it's not my mama, not my grandmama, not my daddy, but it's me, Lord, it's me, right? Many times when people here on, even like here on my channel, they say, I have to have sir to please pray for me, Tino. And I will say things like, baby, God got you. I'm going to pray for you. And, I, and listen, I mean what I say, but it's a whole different ball game when it is you. It is you. It is you that's standing in the need of a blessing. When it's you. Come on, game nerd mom. You know what I'm talking about. It's, when it's you, right? Well, I want you all to know, family, it is me. And God has already worked it out. And when that doctor came back today and he told me, no, he ain't got none of that. None of that. <laughs> and when I first seen this one doctor as a female, she, <laughs> she was looking at me and squeezing my legs and like, Oh my God, you so healthy. You, you, I'm like, ma'am, I thank you. I thank you. I really do. She was like, oh, look at your skin. You're so beautiful. I'm like, baby, I understand, but I look, look, I ain't even down for it today. <laughs> you know, I won't know the results of these tests, right? But family, I want to just say that if you are going through something, if you are going through something, turn it over to the Lord and he'll work it out and he will, he will. And I thank him, I thank him. I wanted to share that with you all because, oh, yo, my day has been just amazing. I went to the doctor at about 1.45 today. <sighs> it's amazing, y'all, it's amazing. I thank God for it. Take care, everybody. You too, baby. Thank you, Game Nerd Mom. Yes, he will educate in that truth. Yes, indeed he will. Yes. Yeah, veggie baby. Yes. Yes. Yes, he will. Yes. So if you ever find yourself, if you ever find yourself in need, of a blessing, call him. He put a telephone in my heart and I could call God in it time. Hallelujah. Oh yes, y'all. I'm, uh, I'm living, I'm breathing testimony. Come on now. Come on, don't start me. <laughs> God is good. Yeah, we thank him for you, Tinog, and our garden affair. Amen, baby. That's a wonderful testimony. All praises to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Keep the faith. Oh, thanks, Tinog, for sharing your testimony. God is amazing, baby. 
He's amazing. And I want to thank you all for being here with me. I thank you all. Deborah, thank you. Call him up. That's it. Yes. Thank you, Growing Out the Box. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Telephone in my heart. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the live and for everybody helping. Yes. Yes, baby. Thank you all so much. Whew. I'm going to get up out of here. I love you all. And we will talk soon. I'm going to put up the video about the molasses. So I made the molasses um, a couple of days ago. Okay. Good night. Good night, Tony. Good night, you all. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Great live as usual. Thank you, Nikki. I thank you, Nikki Walker. I truly do, baby. Yes. Yeah. And I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow night over there by Hands in Dirt. Okay. Yeah. Night, night. Good night, baby. Awesome. Always awesome, Angela. I love you all. Thank you, Jeannie. Thank you, Miss Linda. We love you all, baby. I love you all too. Analytic. Yes. Pretty girl. Good night. Be careful in this. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to be right here in this house. I have a pot of red beans cooking, baby. I'm not going nowhere. Mm mm. Uh, yeah, Harvey says, uh, good night, all praises to God, amen, rest well, thank you, wellness, you too, baby, thank you, Nikki, OCD is chick, thank you, baby, Nikki, did you see the video where, um, baby, you was, you was having breakfast with me, did you, did you see it, did you see it, <laughs> yeah, good night, Steffi, good night, Harvey, y'all have a good night, we'll see each other, Later. Take care. You too, wellness. You too. Good night, Miss Gloria. All right, family. Love y'all. We are going to see more miracles. Oh, beyond miracles. Ha! Wow. That's a blessing. I, I don't know which the title was. Maybe it was two videos ago. It's a video, though. So it's, it's at the beginning. So, yeah. Creole tomatoes are still available. John Sincere. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that, y'all. So if anybody want Creole, oh, that's not the right one. <laughs> anybody want Creole tomato seeds, Jody have Creole tomato seeds. Check it out. Good night, baby. Amen. Passionately intrigued. Yeah. Good night, analytic gardener. Good night, baby. Y'all have a good night. We'll see each other later. Bye. Good night, beautiful jungle. <laughs> Good night, baby. <laughs>